Okay, so let's see. Tuesday, Bridget went and had her spay um, done over in Newburyport. They were going to do her cherry eye at the same time while she was under. However, I did get a phone call from the surgeon, and after examining her eye, um, a cherry eye is when the third eyelid actually um, bulges.
the mother dog will be able to go in and out without us worrying about the dog trying to get underneath the porch and have the babies underneath the porch. Um, and it's a, it's a smaller area. It'll be nice because our volunteers will be able to participate more with the puppies. The puppies will be able to be socialized better um, than having them up in the house where only certain people were at the time allowed in the house. So we'll be able to have volunteers and staff and everybody else be able to see the puppies, which is going to help with socialization. Uh, so that, that is good. Um, as you all know, Jagger is here with us. He is, um, goes next week for a checkup at the vet's office to make sure his blood work is still um, doing well uh, before we even contemplate doing surgery on his knee. We have ordered him a brace for his knee to uh, help him um, help stabilize the knee as he's walking around. But um, if you've seen him walking through here, he's been walking great. His dad is right here um, with him right now, uh, doing some lovings over in the laundry building. So that is awesome. Jagger is uh, just flying high right now. He's so excited. He looks great. Too. Yeah, he does. He looks really good. Um, and that is pretty much it. We had our, pretty, our first snowfall. Uh, I had five inches in my house. I did. And I, it was great. Um, <laughs> but we had a little bit of dusting here. We had um, Elena came back and they had a, tr a little tree that was donated to us that she helped decorate. And then they just came back yesterday with a little eight foot tree that we will be putting lights on and getting, getting a little uh, festivity going here at Service Dog Project. So we had it so the camera can see it and hopefully you guys are enjoying it. All right, and Wilson, Wilson went to your house for the weekend. How did Wilson do, Tracy? He did awesome. He was so good. He got tired out fast. Bella runs circles around him. And she still keeps going, but he, he, they play for two hours and sleep for four hours. But then they pick it up and he eat and play for two hours and sleep for two more hours. But he slept all night and did really, really good. He was awesome. Nice. Yeah. He listened. He lived, leave it. He knew. He was really, really good. Here's my friend. Here he is. Speak of the little one. Hi, Wilson.
Yeah, yeah she sent me a text the other night. My boyfriend's in the guest house. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go say goodbye to him and hug him and kiss him. I said, aww. Yeah. We do get it's very attached to these dogs, but we have to save room for more coming in, for more people we can help. Yep. Crafty again. I heard Wilson had a good weekend overnight. How was his progression? He did great at my house. He came when he was called. He, he tends to want to, if you're eating something, get up and sit right next to you and watch you eat. Or, so I had to keep telling him, off, off, off. But he let Bella, he, he ate his food. I put Bella's down. He'd go over to her and she'd give him a little brrr. And he just walked away. He did good. And I'd say, Wilson, come. And he'd come. But he did good. I'd say, leave it. He'd walk away. So when you first took him, though, did you think that the whole weekend was going to happen? I was a little nervous. I sent Len a message the other night saying, I don't think I'm going to get any sleep. These two dogs have been playing for like hours at 9.30. They both crashed and we slept until 6 a.m. <laughs> but it was great. And last night, same thing. I actually stayed up and watched the Patriots and he's snoring away next to me in bed. stay in the program. Okay. Claws and paws. Will cameras be placed in the ice house? You just said that. Yes. Yeah. Kathy Stevens, wall fly. I haven't been on here in a long time. And there no DD. Somebody replied there. The DD has been copied up below, down, posted down below in chat. Pat, how is Sloan progressing? Will he be a service dog or a perfect pet? Right now, we have not washed any dogs out of the program as far as that age group is concerned. Uh, Sloan is he's going to be um, an interesting dog to... Uh, he's going to be challenging. That, that he is. Uh, he needs to... He gets bored very easily. I feel that they... Great, great 
mom. And I went and saw them, and they look great. Pixie and Dale are doing awesome. Okay, Joe, how many dogs are currently in service dog training on the farm? Um, that's a good question. We have Laura's counting. There's 10 big ones. I hope I didn't post too many. <laughs> it's now, like, 
I think people have been loving the pictures, you know, the, webs, the Facebook page that I did, um, you know, I try to put as many pictures as I, as I can. I've just been really busy for the past few days. I think I kept forgetting to tag you, and then I forgot to put them on Explore, but um, somebody could go brought them over on Explore. Yeah, yeah, and I am working with Explore, so if I do any videos um, and put them on my Facebook, I will also have the ability to put them on Explore also, so videos will be coming your way. Um, Coming soon. Now as a mom, Wilson got so big and tall, I think it was good that he stayed with Matt sort of breaking in time. <laughs> yeah, he's, he likes to snuggle, so I'm sure Matt snuggled with him. <laughs> I'm sure. And claws and claws. I think Wilson stayed with Matt and Ace. It was a wonderful experience for Wilson too. Love Husky, how is rat catching? Explain that in the beginning. I don't know if you missed it. Yep. Yep. So we're catching. Rats. We're catching. We're catching them. Slowly but surely. It's it's um it's going to be work in progress. And crafty. My outdoor dogs used pig mats 30 years ago. One night they were in their dog house when the temp dipped below negative one. That's wow. Good to know. That's good to know. Yeah. Thank you very much, Crafty. Well, we're going to have to put it on some sort of a um, thermostat though to make sure it doesn't get too too warm. Oh, yeah. but, so. Again, work in progress. That's why nothing's happening right now there. Okay, on the other side of the river, have the neighbors been complaining about the barking? I have not heard any complaints from the neighbors. I know a while back we did have um, some barking going on down here, uh, and the neighbors were very kind to call, hang up, call, hang up, call, hang up, <laughs> which drove our overnighter crazy because she's trying to get the phone and answer the phone, yet she's trying to get to the barn to quiet them down, and she can't because she has to be up there answering the phone. It's a lose-lose situation as far as that was concerned. Um, they were out here barking the other night. I was here late, and I actually pulled all the lights on in the barn, walked through, and gave everybody cons. Yeah, everybody got cons. Everyone was happy. When I left, it was nice and quiet. So, yeah, that's good. Remind me about the cons. Cons. <laughs> Heather says she'll do them any time overnight if we need to. Perfect. So, perfect. Yeah. And we do have a CP that is donating more cons. Oh, good. So we'll, I think we'll have plenty. We definitely need them. Yeah. I picked a bunch up out here last week.